the bodyguard of Mohamed Salah, has shared some of the techniques used to protect the Liverpool and Egypt star from harmful dangers. Salah, 31, is one of the most recognisable football players in the world and is well-liked in his native country due to his charitable activities. However, it also draws some unwelcome attention, and Karim Abdul, Salah's personal bodyguard, has disclosed some of the strategies they use to keep him safe. The 5 A-Side podcast was informed by Abdul that all gifts must be scanned. We don't accept gifts, but occasionally I have to scan them if I take them from individuals. You never know what the present will contain. You can't know if it will make him sick or kill him. With Liverpool, Salah won the Champions League final in 2019. He scored the game's first goal from the penalty spot. According to Abdu, that is when the Egyptian received the most interest. When he won the Champions League, that was the most crazy time, said Abdu. It was Aid, and thousands of people had gathered in the street to worship because it seemed like Christmas there. Everyone wants to snap selfies with him, even though he was meant to go and pray in the street with everyone because he just won the Champions League. Every Egyptian media outlet, TV and newspapers, covered it like it was the World Cup final, one said. They had formed a line in front of his home. I was staying in a hotel at the same time as the Egyptian national team. He was meant to arrive there after taking the next two days off. He entered the residence out of the blue and was unable to even unlock the door. They attempted to flee from him through the back door, but were unsuccessful. Salah has won the Champions League in 2019 and the Premier League in 2020 since joining Liverpool in 2017. Ali Tihad of the Saudi Pro League allegedly made a £150 million offer for the Egypt International. Nevertheless, despite Salah's performance on the field and the significant sum of money at stake for his services, Abdu claimed, he is a ghost. He is invisible. He once went to a mosque to worship. Someone followed him, but nobody knew where he lived. The WhatsApp group Mo Salah lives in that address was posted by a man who was monitoring him. Abdu stated that 20,000 people attended, which had as much to do with Salah's football prowess as it does with the millions he spent on Egyptian villages, ambulance purchases, people's bills, marriages and operations. People write on paper and give it to him because they believe he would answer all of their issues, continued Abdu. Following the international break, Salah's Liverpool play host to Everton in the Merseyside Derby.